In this tutorial I would like to go in, uh, into a bit more detail with regard to page segmentation and working with regions in general. We have covered most of the basics in earlier videos. Have a look at the ones about manual editing and page analysis for instance. I will use the toolbar layout with all features and at the end of this tutorial you should know what most of the features in the regions tab do. At the moment I only have an empty page as you can see. With empty I mean nothing has been annotated yet. So to have something to work on I will use the automated page analysis feature. We have already covered this in an earlier video but I wanted to show you a little trick. Let's say you are only interested in a specific part of the page. You could just run the page analysis on the whole page and delete the stuff you don't need. As an alternative you can draw a border around the area of interest and switch to the black and white image and use the erase border tool. And now the page analysis will not return any clutter you don't need and will be fast as well. That worked quite well I would say. I will quickly restore my full black and white image. If you have one at hand you can open it from here. I will just use the automated binarization. The method is called Otsu. Okay, that doesn't look too good especially the headings on the right here. You can improve the results with another method. Let's run the Sovola method. Yes, it looks a bit better. But maybe I can tweak it a bit more by increasing the first parameter. If you are wondering why I spend so much time on the black and white image, that is because many of the features in Alifia rely on a bitonal black and white image. And the better the quality, the better the tools will work. There are some more tools here to remove noise, for instance, and also select and remove foreground components. By the way, you can always undo any changes. I have already demonstrated some of the correction tools in the page analysis tutorial. So you have a split tool and you have a merge tool, which does the opposite. Of course you can now manually edit the outlines of the regions. If you prefer straight lines, just press and hold the control key while you move the mouse. The point will then snap to the same position as the closest neighbor point. Then we have various tools to create new regions. The manual ones are straightforward. You can use the rectangle tool or the polygon tool. The one called isothetic is also for polygon but it restricts you to horizontal and vertical lines. Let's move on to some more assistive tools. Here we have something called Coarse Contour. These two tools will do a contour detection and create an outline that fits closely around foreground objects. You use them the same as the manual tools and draw a rectangle or a polygon. And this is the result. The fine contour tools are very similar. As the name suggests, they create a more detailed outline. To show you the difference, I will use the coarse one first on this graphic. I'll undo this and use the fine contour tool. And that should speak for itself. By the way, you can also apply these tools to existing regions. All you have to do is to select the region and activate the tool. Then just press the run in the little window. You will have noticed some sliders in the window that pops up for the tools. These are parameters to influence the outline detection. Have a look at the user guide if you want to know more or just play around with them. To understand the other two buttons for the fine contour, you need to know that these tools work on the black and white image. Let me switch. Black is foreground and white is background of course. Black areas are called connected components because all the black pixels are connected to each other. These two tools make use of the components. If you activate the select tool, you can click on components to highlight them in red. And you can select multiple ones if necessary, but in my case one is just fine. Then click on create region and you will get a new region with an outline around the objects you selected. In case you want to simplify the outline of a region, 
you can use the two box tool in the correction panel. This will change any polygon to a rectangle of the same size. The two isothetic tool replaces all diagonal polygon lines with horizontal and vertical ones. Let me show you with a triangle. I will run the tool now. If you are saying now I don't see a difference, you are absolutely right. But if I zoom in, you will see what happened. All lines have this staircase pattern now. If I undo and redo a bit, it's even better to see. Some software tools can't cope with diagonal lines. That's when you can use this feature. Once you have finished the page segmentation, meaning you have all the regions you want, you can of course change the types, add some attributes and text. I've already shown that earlier and I would like to keep this tutorial short and will not go into detail. If you have created a region manually and need the text content or if you want to rerun the OCR for one specific region because it has a different language for instance, you can use the OCR region tool. You have to select the text region first. Then you get a dialog with some options. I'll just click run and the text is there. Specifying the reading order can help when you want to export the text content later on. There are more advantages and use cases which is beyond this tutorial unfortunately. But to quickly show you a very simple example, just select the root group and add regions by double clicking them. And when you navigate through the regions using page up or page down, you see an improvement already. Alifia follows the reading order and not just the position on the page as before. Let me quickly create some text lines. The dialog called All Regions gives you a tree view of your regions and also text lines, words and glyphs if there are any. You can search for a region by ID or search for specific text content also. And if you like, you can also activate the highlighting of child objects. Then you can see the text lines more easily if you select the region. Okay, we've almost covered everything. One thing I have not shown is the adjust to lines here. This recalculates the outline of a text region based on the child text line objects. Let me show you. The adjust with the three dots is similar, only that one does the adjustment down through all levels, text lines, words and glyphs. The last toolbar panel contains some buttons which I rarely use because the keyboard shortcuts are much more convenient. But there's one feature that might be useful for you, that is select similar. You can use it if you want to select all regions of a certain type. If I select the separator for instance and press the button, all separators will be selected. And you could delete them now for example. To finish, I will show you some things that you can do with this data now. Something I've mentioned before is the text export. This takes the text content from each region and combines everything to one block of text, which you can then save to a file or copy to the clipboard, for instance. Another export feature that can be useful on occasion is the screenshot export. Screenshot might be a bit misleading. What it actually does is saving a full-size copy of the document image with the overlays you currently see. So you get all the region outlines and whatever you have enabled. And lastly, you can also export image snippets of your regions. Just select the regions you're interested in. I'll use all of them by pressing Ctrl plus A. Then click on the export and choose a destination folder. Alifia creates one TIFF image for each region with the region ID and the file name. And as you can see, the areas that are outside the region outline are cropped and filled with white. There's also a way to create searchable PDF files, but you will need another software tool created by us and there are some manual steps involved, so it's best to contact us if you are interested or check uh, the GitHub website. That should be enough information for now. As always, have a look at the toolbar help and the user guide if you want to learn more. Thank you for watching. And if you have an idea for another tutorial, let us know.